Bam! First things first, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 PCB leaked 28 power phases, single 16 pin connector, and NVLink interface design similar to the 3090 Ti reference. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card reference PCB has allegedly been leaked and detailed by Igor's lab once again. Back in March, Igor of Igor's lab posted what was then assumed to be a block diagram of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090's PCB. It was stated that the RTX 3090 Ti had been a crucial learning curve for NVIDIA and its AIB partners to ready themselves for the next gen Ada Lovelace GPU lineup featured on the 40 series. Now we have much more detailed PCB diagram that should be used by the RTX 4090. The RTX 4090 will utilize the AD102 GPU, the flagship within the Ada Lovelace lineup. As per previous rumors, the amp here GA102 and Ada Lovelace AD102 GPUs are likely to be pin compatible, which means that they can be featured on similar PCB designs or ones with little modifications than to design completely brand new boards. This will allow AIBs to ease down the development process of their next gen 40 series custom models. <laughs> oh, <whew. laughs> excuse me, helping them save production time and money. So here's the reference model PCB. And for, of course, the miners, what we're looking at are the memory modules. It's very similar to the 3090 Ti, which you can see here. And the big thing here is obviously going to be the memory modules on the front of the PCB. Each one of these will hold two gigabytes. So we have essentially 12 of them with two each, totaling out to 24 gigabytes of a GDDR6X, supposedly clocking at 24 gigabytes per second. That would be pretty insane. That might also explain why NVIDIA's RTX 40 Founders Edition coolers, which leaked earlier, look similar to the existing 30 series coolers. Besides some changes to the cooling plate and fin layout, the design almost looks identical. But with that said, the PCB here seems to be an AIB reference design rather than a Founders Edition PCB. The reason is that the PG139 SKU Founders Edition PCB features a V-shaped design, whereas the PG136 SKU comes with the standard rectangular shape. So if you look up here, rectangle V-shape on the Founders Edition. And that's because of the way they designed, of course, the coolers on the, the Founders Editions here. And that's because it has that kind of dual fan push pull kind of configuration going on. Besides that, the PCB blueprint that Igor has churned up based on information from his sources show that the 8102 GPU boards for the RTX 4090 and 4080 are once again going to come in a compact layout. The layout shows a 28 phase power delivery of which 24 phases have been dedicated to the GPU and PLL while the remaining four phases power the memory. Currently, the RTX 3090 Ti Founders Edition features 21 phases and both are reference designs. It is likely that the custom models could feature an even higher count if the, bit, if the next bit is true about the power limit. Other than the power phases, there are 12 memory module traces on the front, which would mean that 24 gigabyte capacity rumors are indeed correct. And if Nvidia wants to go higher, say 48 gigabytes for a workstation variant, they can fill up the backside of the PCB with an additional 12 2 gigabyte modules. Remember previously on the 3090, they shifted the RTX 3090 from having basically 12 gigabytes of memory on the front, 12 gigabytes of memory on the back to when they moved to the 3090 Ti, having all 24 gigabytes on the front. They could load it up. More memory is not better for mining than faster and better cooled memory, just to be clear. So your workstation GPUs would probably not be that much more beneficial. You want to keep, obviously, the memory cool in a mining situation. Currently, the 3090 Ti Founders Edition features 21 phases. Oh, we already did that part. There we go. I can track. 
The NVIDIA RTX 4090 PCB features four display outputs, which include a single HDMI and a triple display port interface and NVLink connectors, a single 16 pin Gen 5 power plug. This means that we can expect up to 600 watt TDP on the 8102 powered cards. The RTX 4090 itself is said to be rated at around 450 watts, while the 4090 Ti can push things up to the 600 watt limit. Of course, one of the things you want to pay attention to is the aftermarket AIBs and what they decide to do. In some cases, if they're trying to push more power, you will have multiple power connectors. From the mining perspective, since you're mostly going to be affected by the memory performance and the amount of power picking and choosing the models that have single 16 pins are probably going to be advantageous of course another problem presented for miners here as we've talked about before is the new atx 3.0 standard and a need to upgrade gp or psus excuse me power supplies from the old standard to the new standard to prevent any power spikes damaging your equipment. So don't be planning too heavily on utilizing the adapters in this case, like you did with the 30 series. I would basically caution against that. It is going to make building rigs really interesting and we'll definitely have to cover it as that gets closer to release because I think you will have different standards and requirements coming on board there. Now, as far as the total bandwidth, we aren't getting a ton of improvement from the memory side. While the memory speed is going up to 24 gigabits per second from the 21 gigabits per second that we saw on the 3090 Ti, which is currently the fastest, it's only going up to about 1152 gigabytes a second versus the 1008 gigabytes per second. If we open a percent calculator, let me see if I can pull this up here for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. We can kind of get an idea of what the percentage is, right? So we could say, what is 1152 of 1008? That's fine. Calculate that out. That's going to be, uh, oop, did I do that right? I did not do that right. <laughs> Let's put that in the correct one. Percent difference calculator. Here we go. Calculate that out. We got a 12% increase essentially where well, that's a 12 percent decrease let's switch these over here oh this is easier boom and boom calculate that out 114 percent so we would say what is 114 percent of 125 mega hash a second calculate that out and you are looking at 142 mega hash a second on these gpus of course at a higher power consumption the TDP or yeah, TGP would be 450 and that faster memory is on only the 4090 Ti to be clear, not on the 4090. So you do suffer from that 600 watt power increase, but that will be 142 mega hash a second, per, presumably on the 4090 Ti. Is it worth it for the power? Uh, probably not, right? That's going to be the big question as we sit down with them and they start releasing. Hopefully what this means though is 21 gigabits per second. I would hope on some of the lower end models, maybe the 4070 gets faster memory, right? Maybe the 4080 ends up being more enticing. I think there are numbers here for the 4080. No, not yet. So hopefully like we could see the 4080 hitting that one terabyte a second of memory speed. Kind of what I'm looking at anyways. Hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.